Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Okay. I return to source. I return to center. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light. Anything the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you. It's returned to you. Okay. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. So you could be going through some type of temporary hardship, but know that th that's exactly what it is. It's a temporary hardship. And these are oftentimes, well, most of the time, these are uh, experiences that the universe will put ahead of us to kind of just help us, I guess, become stronger to extend, elevate, right, to grow. So with the Wheel of Fortune coming after that, this is letting you know that things are moving in your favor no matter how tumultuous it may seem right now. There's balance being brought in this situation. Things are kind of things are in your favor. They may just seem a little gloomy at the moment. But the universe does not want you to keep your minds on negative things. Whatever is going on right now, I would advise you to stay in a in a um in a positive energy, keep your mind on the present tense. In the present tense, don't let your mind start wandering off. And I know there's something that's really like this human nature for us to do when things start going here. Why we start worrying and coming up with all of these different conclu conclusions in our minds that we know what's going to happen already. Life is over. But you're being advised to keep your mind on positive things because you don't want to start manifesting the wrong things into your life because then... That can change the tra trajectory of how events are supposed to turn out. Okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. So, there you are being advised to keep your mind on positive things right now. And just to know that things are going on, going in your favor, even though they may not seem like it. Okay? The wheel of fortune, regardless of what direction is rolling in, whether in the, in, whether in the clockwise or counterclockwise uh, motion, is balancing things out so even though things may not seem like they're in your favor or things may not seem like they're going to get better they will get better you may be receiving some type of friendship offer from someone um, which is why we have the knight of cups out here someone may have some type of i don't know if it's emotions or they just have some type of genuine they just have compassion for you so they may want they may want to extend some type of friendship to you um so that you two can kind of get well acquainted with one another. I'm trying to figure out how to put that into words. So it doesn't sound too weird or too uh, funny. Um, but someone may extend some type of friendship to you. Or you two may connect in some way, shape, or form. And this connection may lead to something um, something serious. Okay, something bountiful. Maybe lead to marriage. Something of that nature. So... You may be connecting with someone or people that are going to bring the best out of you, okay? Someone that genuinely sees you for who you are. Someone may know about something that you are going through. Uh, someone knows what people have been doing behind the scenes to hinder you. There's a whole lot going on. You may not even know exactly what is going on, but someone is aware. Um, they may help bring, yeah, someone is aware, like they know on an intuitive level, a spiritual level, possibly even on the physical level, this person may know what the heck is going on. So they may try to step up and bring balance into the situation. For some of you, this could be through financial assistance. For some of you, this could be like words of encouragement or just bringing something to your attention. Maybe a message, an email, a letter, something of that nature. Just letting you know, hey, this is what has been going on. What spirit is telling you is that you're going to have to keep this very quiet, discreet. Do not go telling everybody about it. Okay, so whatever this person is doing for you, keep it discreet. Do not say anything. Okay? Okay. But when the Three of Pentacles shows up in a reading, it's always like so alarming. It's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what the 
is happening. You're just going through some type of momentary hardship. It could be spiritual for some of you. And for, for some of you, it could be financial. For some of you, it could be mental. Um, it could be a lot of things. It may have to do with some of you just losing losing something whatever you're losing you are meant to so that you can move forward in life so something may be ending so something you can begin and this is how things are going in your favor or balance is being brought into a situation so that things don't escalate to another level for some of you but things are absolutely going in your favor someone may be surrounded by hitting enemies these are people like doing things from behind the scenes they are afraid of being cut but i think most of them don't realize that the truth is already known okay some of these people may have like issue legal issues coming in things of that nature yeah yeah so you may be feeling stuck but you have a new uh, uh opportunity coming up for you you may be feeling stuck. You may be feeling stagnant, um, which is normal in life because you always have periods like this. And it'll always be in some different aspect of your life. Sometimes it can be in education. Sometimes it can be in relationships. It can be in work. Um, you can feel stuck, but you're going to receive some type of opportunity and you are being advised to grab that bull by the horn. Um, take charge and move forward. Do not hesitate. This is going to help you kind of remove yourself from this bondage that people may be trying to impose on you so that you can't stay in that free energy that is yours right that powerful energy that you have within you it can be you can be able to live in your truth basically okay so basically what they're telling me is that there are people trying to keep you stuck in some type of energy that's not yours but you're going to be receiving justice things will be going in your favor okay so that's yeah that's just letting me know that there's something that's going on behind the scenes where people are doing something but you yourself could also be going through some type of natural disaster where it has to do with maybe your finances your relationship um and you have a new beginning ahead of you that's going to help you come out of that it may be through the assistance of someone maybe a king of pentacles king of cups whoever what i'm also seeing is that someone may have paid to have you stuck in some type of situation um <clears throat> yeah someone may have paid to have you stuck in some type of situation trying to cause you like new challenges and things like that when like the universe is trying to bring balance in something someone is going out of their way as well to cause hindrances um and the person that's causing the hindrances in your life they're going through things as well behind the scenes. They are going through things behind the scenes. Someone is also realizing that they may have been betrayed by a friend as well. Yeah, you're being advised to keep your mind on positive things. Keep your mind in the present. Don't let it go wandering up because when it goes wandering up, this becomes you. This becomes us. This is how we end up being living in anxiety and fear uncertainty things like that so you're being advised to keep your mind on positive things yeah focused <laughs> you are being advised to stay focused okay you may be experiencing some type of betrayal at work there may be something going on with a business someone may be trying to temper with your work trying to end your work trying to take your work you're steal something from you but you're going to be receiving some type of new opportunity in work as well because someone knows that you are committed and you are very business minded you're skilled so even though someone may be trying to tamper with your work or your business whatever this is it's still going to work out in your favor whether it's a new position yeah it's going to be a new position new work so something, something old may be coming to an end and something new starting, or you may be receiving some type of promotion, right? Some of you, your bosses might, might decide you are ready for a position or something, and they may promote you to a position that maybe people have been trying to block you out of, trying to keep you out of, but there's some, yeah, there's some type of motion balance being brought into situation, and you're going to receive some type of opportunity, Okay, and this is divine intervention, which is going to lead to your abundance. You're being seen as the hot, as the empress. 
So someone knows the truth about you. Your character has been revealed to someone. And your ancestors are telling you to answer the call. Whatever this is, physically. Answer the call. <clears throat> yeah. The decision has been made already. The decision has been made. Someone also may be seeing you as a love option, but I don't know about that Knight of Cups. You all know on this channel, I struggle with the Knight of Cups energy because it's not certain, but sometimes it can just have to do with friendship. Oh, I think I just saw the Six of Cups. It can just have to do with friendship. Like someone wants to be friends with you. Someone has made a decision to have some type of, I don't know if it's a friendship, relationship, something like that uh, between the two of you. This could be someone you work with. This could just be someone that's very high up. This could be someone that's skilled, a professional, something like that. And someone may be finding your strength to kind of move forward and take this action. I said move forward and the six of swords is at the bottom. So someone is finding the strength to move forward and take some type of action to bring, to bring balance, right, in this situation. This person may have a lot of people behind the scenes working against them, trying to block them, discourage them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. Someone is going through some type of ending because there are people, not the person that is going to be reaching out to you, but someone around this person is going through an ending or is about to go through an ending for either stealing, lying, doing something malicious and trying to hide it, but it's exposed. Someone is going through some type of karma because they interfered with your livelihood. This man, whoever this is, could be going through homelessness as well. Um, and this is because he did not take heed to some type of wisdom that was given to him. He may have also listened to the wrong person, joined the wrong bandwagon, and now things are kind of going here while he's living some type of hard karma. Someone is reaping what they sow, getting a taste of their own medicine. Uh, this would be a king of cups going through some type of betrayal. But the fact that he's going through a betrayal means that it's some type of balance being birthed into a situation um, where he may have done, yeah, he may have done something to try to block someone, trap someone, play with someone's mental lie, something like that. Interfere with someone's fall of movement to keep them blocked. Maybe he didn't want you receiving this opportunity, so he may have told a lie. That like he betrayed someone's trust, someone's friendship, something of that nature, and he's going through an ending. He could be going, losing some type of home as well, losing a position. Whereas you're coming out of the cold, this man is going into the cold. So this could be someone that played a really big role behind the scenes in causing you an ending. And yeah, he's going through a loss. He's going through a loss. And he may be walking around like everything is okay, but this person is not okay. Someone is trying to get away from a group of people, from a place, a person, thing. Someone may be even taking like a trip or something just to get away from the place that they've caused all this mayhem, okay? But he possibly had a hand in causing someone an ending or blocking someone's forward movement, blocking a position. Absolutely, he tried to block someone's forward movement. He could have been trying to block a relationship as well, interfere with a decision. So if he has a friend that told him, I'm interested in this person, um, he may have gone out of his way and started doing things behind the scenes to interfere with this relationship so that it does not come into fruition. Someone who have been paid as well to cause some type of ending between two people is that, hey, we're giving you this amount. Make sure these two people don't get together. Make sure she does not grow in this company. He does not grow in this company. Something like that. And his friend may not be aware of what has been going on. So this person could be doing stuff behind the scenes and then making it look like it's someone else that's doing it. This is like, let's say you work for, uh, let's say like a car company, right? And you have the manager and then there's someone below him that's your supervisor. It can be women as well that's your supervisor. This person is tampering with cars, but he's doing it when the manager is around. Let's say they're working on a car together and he's the one doing the malicious stuff, the destructions. He's the one causing the destructions, right? 
Well, he's going to do it while the manager and him are working on the car together. So if questions come up, it can seem like the manager is part of it. And he also, you know, he's just there. That he doesn't know anything really that's going on. It's kind of like saying, well, that could have been either of either of us, right? How do you know it was me? How do you know it was him, right? He may even blame the manager and say, I think it was him that did it. And he may be so convincing because he's a false hire fan, right? That people may believe him. Someone is a facade that may come off as a king of cups, but there's something about his personality, his morals that's really grimy is what I'm getting. Um, and he's going through some type of ending because he participated in something that he should not have had, should not have participated in. Someone is very much accustomed to pretending to faking who they are. They sell like a persona. What, what you see is not what you really get. So if this is like a, a higher fan, you know, the higher fan can be an institution, maybe a priest, a pastor, something like that. Someone comes off as holier than thou, like they do the right things, all kinds of stuff. But when you look beneath the surface, they're very devilish, very malicious. They'll do anything for money. Someone is very financially focused. Okay. I said financially focused and the King of Pentacles came out. So someone is very much financially focused and they may be going through some type of ending. Okay. Because of the things that they've been doing. Yeah. They may have paid for something. I don't know if it's for like you to be stuck so you don't move forward. Yeah. Trying to block a union. He was trying to block some type of union. Mm. Yeah, someone has been doing a lot to keep someone stuck in some type of unhappy relationship, unhappy family dynamic, unhappy group. What I don't know what this is. I know it's showing up as the Ten of Cups, but with this Four of Pentacles showing up before it, it's telling me that someone feels stuck. Or oh, this man could have paid to keep a family stuck right unable to move forward not having any options and things like that trying to block their new beginning he may have even been trying to block the truth as well but there's something here about someone going out of their way to make sure that a family either does not move forward or to blind a family about the truth his friends about the truth so this is like a double agent he may be nice to you and then when he goes to his friends he tells them something else because he wants them to not be in the know about what's going on this is how he's keeping up a facade someone has like a foot honey this is so tiring this is tiring like you you all can hear my voice it's all like uh, like this is this energy is exhausting someone has a full-time job as a manipulator they are very very committed to keeping some type of malicious act going on. Like pretending to be something, selling some type of narrative that's not true. Someone is very committed. Very committed. And they may not realize that all of the actions they took, they, they took against you just led to them trapping themselves and it led to their own ending. So this is like someone planning your demise only for them to meet their own demise, I'm telling you. And he's going to be losing some type of job position. He may be feeling trapped now and bounded to this situation because of something he did, right? He may have worked with a toxic couple. Someone, I don't know what the heck it is. It's just someone's mind, their mental, like someone is in a lot of anxiety and fear, but they're walking around like they're okay. They're not okay. Something is wrong with someone. Like they may be about to lose everything. Everything. Someone is about to lose everything and it's because of actions they took against you with a group of people and some type of action they took against you is possibly not able to be undone, which means that behind the scenes, they're all going through something and they can't stop it. They're not able to stop whatever is going through. They were trying to make your life as miserable as possible. There was some type of, what do they call it, prophecy? There was a prophecy, a prophecy, prophecy 
that was manifested, something was predicted and it has come into fruition for these people. So they're going through some type of ending. Okay. This group was refusing to see things from a higher perspective. They, they were refusing to stop something that they've been doing and now it has led to chaos, right? Amongst them. This man could be fighting with someone behind the scenes as well. He could be fighting with someone. I don't mean like a physical fight, but like some type of like argument is going on behind the scenes. It said, well, you're the one that did this. You're the one that accepted that bribery. You're the one that did this to her. You're the one that did this to him. But it's like at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who did what. You all were involved. You all did something. You all played some type of role in it. And so now they're all going through some type of difficulties. Okay? Someone may be feeling trapped as well. Feeling unfulfilled. Either in work, in a relationship. Someone feels trapped. They can't see their way out of a toxic union. I'm telling you. These people are going through endings. They may have been benefiting off of your laws. It's just that you living in deplority and other people are living la vita loca and you are suffering. You could have kids, a husband, a wife, a domestic partner. You are trying to build a family or something and you're living in this energy. But these people are living lux a luxurious lifestyle. Happy as can be. And they don't care. They didn't care how it was affecting you or your family, your partners. They didn't care. But now things are in the reverse. There's a woman that has fallen from grace. She's no longer a woman of high honor or privilege, whatever she was. Whatever she was. Yeah. Someone is living in some type of depression. Either someone is leaving them, someone has made a decision to walk away from her. It says she did so much for someone to choose her. But at the end of the day, the, the truth was still revealed and he's choosing not to be with her. Someone is not who they put themselves out to be and this masculine is not accepting that. They may have been trying to present someone. Yeah. They may have been trying to present someone as someone of high honor. And he may have chose this person, but he didn't realize it was not a genuine connection. This was someone who was a facade. Someone is also finding out like a toxic couple could have done something to cause some type of imbalance in someone's finances, in someone's life. Like everything is being exposed. This couple is still trying to hide and trying to prevent people from seeing the truth. But the truth is already out here about all the conflict and manipulation that was going on. Everything is already exposed. Everything is already exposed. There's some type of betrayal. Someone may have betrayed a queen of swords. I don't know if you're the queen of swords or this is someone he was working with. But these people are going through endings behind the scenes. But when you see them, they'll say they're doing okay. They're not doing okay. These people are, yeah, they're not doing okay. They need help. They need to heal. They're not doing okay. They sacrifice themselves. Some type of uh, prophecy has been fulfilled in these people's lives. Someone who had passed away or someone is sick and they're not getting better. And people may be freaking out, right? People may be freaking out. Yeah. Someone may have been trying to steal something. Yeah, uh-huh. Someone was trying to steal something and they're getting bad news that they're not able to steal that. They're not going to be having victory over you. Yeah, whatever they did, it's not, it's not what they think it is. Someone thought they were going to steal something from you, steal some type of, I don't know if it's a business income letter or something like that. But someone was expecting to block you all the way around. Someone saw they had they were successful at destroying you. And now I think there's something here about the court system as well. Someone could have received some type of bad news from the court system or just some authoritative figure. And it was bad news. They thought they had victory in some type of demise that was set up. Like they had something set up and they 
thought that everything was going according to plan, but they're getting bad news. They're getting bad news. It's not a long lived victory. It's, it wasn't really a victory. They're getting bad news. Things are not going in their favor. It's not going in their favor. They're going to have to walk away. I'm telling you. It's not going in their favor. Like someone was expecting to hear that either you were down and out. Like you were just flat out destroyed. Someone may be waiting to hear that some of you are homeless. Some of you have no jobs. Like someone is waiting to hear a lot of bad news. They want to hear that you're blocked. You are impoverished. You're out in the streets. Right? No one is helping you. Anything. They don't want anyone helping you. But as we know, we do believe in source, the, the universe. The universe acts in mysterious ways. Right? The universe acts in mysterious ways. So people can get together and plan your demise all they want. But the universe is saying is the final. And this is why this Wheel of Fortune is out here. Letting you know that you may be going through temporary hardship, but things are going in your favor. Sometimes to get on the other side, you do have to go through some type of tumultuous experience. So when you come out of it, you will be a whole brand new person. And you'll have some type of growth that people won't be able to take from you. When they see you, they won't even be able to recognize you. But I guarantee you, everyone that had a hand in your demise trying to end you, trying to steal from you, it's not going in their favor. If someone had paid for something to be taken from you, for you to be, I don't know, excommunicato, whatever they want to call it, they're getting bad news. Like, I don't know what this is. It's just like so draining. It's like a lot of people involved in something and it's something malicious to take from someone. That like one specific person, excuse me, one specific person, a whole group of people got together to destroy a life and they were expecting to hear good news and they're getting bad news that is not happening. And this is source hand in this situation, in this matter. You'll have people even pretending not to know anything about what's going on. You'll have people trying to leave to get away from the situation until it dies down. Someone is like doing Someone is making orders from behind the scenes. <clears throat> someone is giving orders from behind the scenes. Okay, this is someone that could, that deems himself to be very powerful, influential, but this is a dark energy. They are making calls that's affecting your life from behind the scenes. It may not technically really be affecting you, but this is just part of the journey for everything to be exposed and for balance to be brought in this situation. I'm telling you, you are in the clear. Everything is happening the way it is so that this can happen. Okay? And again, you are being advised to keep your mind on positive things. You don't want to manifest something horrendous in your life out of fear and anxiety. That's something I had to practice and I had to learn over time myself. Because I, I used to be someone that had a lot of anxiety um, because of experiences I had when I was growing up. Um, but I, I had to take the time to face all of those demons so that I could learn how to kind of overcome my anxiety. And a lot of the time, anxiety has to do with your, let, with you letting your mind wander off into the sunset or something, right? Something happens and all of a sudden you're thinking about, oh, this is going to happen, that's going to happen. Oh, they're not like going to like me. They're going to reject me. Oh my gosh, I'm going to do, I'm going to lose my job. I'm, that's what anxiety is when you let your mind wander off into yonder. Don't do that. Like, stay focused on the now. Focus on the now. What's going on now? Even if what's going on now is not positive, it's not the best of situations, find something positive to keep your mind on. Find the things in your life that you are thankful for and keep your mind focused on those things. By you doing that, the universe is realizing that, hey, this person is living in a grateful energy, so we need to bless them. We need to make sure they're okay because they're showing us gratitude. Always keep your mind on 
positive things and show gratitude to the universe. Okay. But uh, I don't know. Something about a prophecy has been um, fulfilled. Something has come through. Something has come in. Something has come into fruition in someone's life. Either this is an ending as far as a death, a sickness, someone losing a whole lot. You know, sometimes when we get on here and do these reads, um, people don't really take heed to what we're saying. And especially dark energies, they don't take heed to it. They feel like they know everything, especially if they have numbers, like they're in a code or COVID or something, they feel invincible until their lives start going out of whack. That's when they want to come back and re rewatch the video where you were telling them, don't take this action, don't do this, don't do that, be mindful of this person, don't tell this person your personal issues. That's when they come back to rewatch their video. So, dang, I should have listened to this person. I should not have taken that action. But someone literally manifested some type of ending in their own life. And you, collective, you were heavily betrayed by someone very close to you. This could be someone from your past. This King of Cups for some of you could be someone from your past. Maybe you had a family with this person. You were in a relationship with this person. They're going through an ending. They betray you and now they're going through an ending as well. This person is living with a lot of anxiety. Someone may have been expecting you to give them a call or something like that. But what they don't see is that the universe is blessing you with something. They thought they had destroyed you in every way, shape, or form. They were expecting you to be in this uh, uh, nine of source energy, but they're the ones in this nine of source energy going through a ten of source as well. They like someone betrayed you heavily. They told a lot of lies. Someone was very desperate for people to believe them, for people to believe that they were the victim in a story. Someone likes to play the victim. Whenever you meet a man that likes to play the victim, you need to be very much alarmed because real men don't even move that way. That's, that kind of stuff bothers them. They say, why the heck are you wanting to be seen as a victim? Why are you trying to be seen as a victim, especially when you're not the victim? You know that Kevin Hart li uh, line that says that is not your line? This is this person, the victim card, the victim line. They try to use that a lot, even though they shouldn't be using that line because they're not a victim. But someone is very misleading. They know how to pretend. This is someone that will befriend anyone and everyone just to be seen in a light that's not theirs. Like they want to be accepted by people. Someone cares a lot what people think about them. So they extend friendships to people and people believe that they're genuine. But this man is not genuine. This is a facade. This is someone doing stuff just to be seen in a light. Like they want to be seen as someone that is outgoing, someone that's relatable, personable, someone that's genuine, but this man is anything but, but those. This is a cunning character, cold, cunning, malicious, a narcissist is what I'm hearing. I keep hearing the word ego. Someone has a very big ego and he's being humble. He's worried. Someone thought that they were going to cause mayhem in your life as well. And you wouldn't be able to tell who was causing the mayhem. And you are going to be idiotic enough to pick up the phone and call them uh, to come rescue you. They've been waiting for that call. And collective, if there is a God that we believe in and we know <laughs> it's for justice and balance, that person is going to be waiting for that call from you until they possibly die or go through some type of ending. It looks like they're already going through an ending too. And they've been trying to cause you an ending. Okay? They've been trying to cause you an ending. And they're getting bad news. Someone is very much worried. Worried. Yeah. Someone is worried. Someone is worried because you still get to move on. You're still in the karma waters. They were trying to complicate new beginnings and stuff for you. Someone was very, I'm telling you, whoever this is, whether this is a, a, a husband, ex-husband, whatever this is, 
a father, baby father, a family member, they are very much heartbroken that you get to still move on. Like they want you stuck so you can need them. Someone wants to feel needed, but they don't have anything to offer you. What in the world is that? Someone wants to feel, wants to be needed, but they don't have anything to offer you. Like they invested in something that led to their own ending. They blocked themselves. They blocked some type of new beginning uh, uh, um, for themselves. And they tried to block some type of new beginning for you in work. They didn't want someone choosing you. So they're going through an ending. Someone is being exposed as a liar and a thief. And they don't like what they're hearing, that you still get to seal on the karma waters. And they have to move on. Someone does not want to move on. This is a narcissist. Like the, the, the idea of them having to sit back and leave you be and see you happy, thriving in life, is a burden for this person. Why is someone else's elevation a burden for you? That's because someone lied and said that you were possibly in love with them if this is an ex and people are finding out you don't give a crap about this person. They could fall off the face of the earth today and you wouldn't even blink an eye or lose a Z or a sheep. People are finding out you don't care. You're not looking for this person. But someone has been very stern, very committed to telling people that you know, you are codependent, you need them, you um, are going to reach out to them. Someone may have even manipulated them to believe that you were going to reach out to them. And they're still waiting for you to reach out. They're going to keep waiting, Collective. Please don't reach out to that kind of person. That is low, so low vibrational and low down. This person didn't realize that they had sacrificed themselves. They martyred themselves. This is like someone having everything Someone comes to them with some type of proposal and it's the most ridiculous proposal ever about how they should do this to you, distance themselves from you, right? Get away from you and things like that. Put an end to the union that they have with you. And they tell them when you do that, they're going to be desperate after you. They won't stop calling you. They do it. You don't call them. You literally like get as far away from that person as possible. And they're wondering, why the heck is she not calling me? Why the heck is he not calling me? You told me he was going to call me. And someone behind the scenes is telling him, just hold on a little longer. I promise you they're going to call you. They're not going to call you. Someone doesn't even know your number, doesn't even have your number. Someone doesn't, whoever this is, the collective you're waiting on does not know your number. They don't have your number. They don't have your contact. They don't have any way of getting in contact with you. Even if they did, they're not calling you. Someone someone got away from you on purpose. It was intentional and it was a permanent move. And the most high be damned if they ever turn back and come back to you because it was a divine interven intervention for this person to get away from you. Someone trapped themselves, I'm telling you. They block themselves. This person is stuck in their mind. They said, why is she not calling me? Why is he not calling me? You said they were going to call me. You lost someone or something that was very essential to your healing permanently. You're not getting that thing or person back. Like they're gone. This person is gone. So you're going to be sitting and waiting around forever for that person to come back. They're not coming back. You and everyone you were collaborating with to make something seem like what is not, what has never been, was the worst mistake you all ever made. It was the worst mistake you all ever made. It's not, that person is not calling you. I'm telling you, they're gone. That person is not calling you. Someone moved on to heal. Someone moved on to ascend. Someone moved on to get away from you. Is that someone left immediately and said, oh, I, I'm not coming back to that.
someone that someone is trying to get away from a situation it could be a couple that's having to walk away now because everything they've done has left no gain for them they've lost a lot they have lost a lot and they're gonna have to walk away they may be trying someone may be planning to flee the country flee something i don't know how far you're going to get but whoever that devilish energy is yeah Hold on. I mean, I don't know. I'm going to put it that way. It shouldn't make no difference anyways. How things are supposed to play out, they will play out. It'll play out how it's supposed to. The story is going to come out like it's supposed to. Okay. Yeah, someone, someone may have lied and said that someone was incompetent. Like they said you had some type of low IQ. You didn't know nothing you were talking about, right? Like you were just an airhead. Like you were codependent on them. And they've been doing a whole lot behind the scenes to prove this. Someone may have told people you were legally retarded or something. Uh, that you had a, a lot of uh, uh, problems you were dealing with, so it would be easy to break you. Like someone let an occultist. <laughs> oh my lord, what the heck is this? What in the world is this? Someone let an occultist manipulate them into destroying their own life. Someone let an occultist manipulate them into destroying their own life. Someone is about to have a, have to find a safe place to go because there are going to be people looking for them. The law enforcement could be looking for them. They could have a lot of characters or energies coming after them like, hey, why did you lie to us? You had us attacking this person and the whole time you knew the truth. You told us this person was this way and it's turning out they're not that way. You lied to us. Why did you lie to us? Someone is in a lot of trouble. Someone is in a heap of trouble. Someone is in a lot of trouble. There's something I'm seeing in here, Collective, that's going to be happening. That's going to help you put an end to a chapter. And I knew this car was going to come out. But I know a lot of the times... There are karmics watching us and causing interferences. So I'm not going to say what it is I'm seeing in here. I knew this car was going to come out and I'm so grateful that it's coming out for you. But you're going to be able to put an end to this chapter. I'm not going to point to the car. <laughs> you're going to be able to put an end to this chapter all together. Okay? So whatever it is you're going through, I know it started off kind of rough. It's going to be okay. Like the most high, your ancestors, your angels are watching over you. You are fine. You're secure. There's something that's about to take place that's going to be bringing balance, helping you in this chapter. Someone received some type of message about you and they're... <laughs> oh, Lord. Thank you for hitting helpers. That's all I'm going to say. This year, the truth will always prevail is all I'm going to say. The truth is always going to prevail. It does not matter how long you go smearing someone's character, lying, deceiving a whole group of people, a whole community about one person. You can do this for as long as you think you want. The universe has a time stamp on everything. I'm telling you, they have a time stamp on everything. They say, hey, we're going to let you do that for a specific amount of time. You may not know how long that specific amount of time is, but the universe knows. And they'll sit back and let you keep lying, keep keep causing mayhem, keep causing uh, inter interventions and things like that, intervening. And when that due date comes, They'll step in and you're exposed in the worst way possible. 
People know something that a masculine energy did to a feminine energy. He betrayed someone. He lied. He didn't tell people the whole truth. And he's been walking around acting like he's a social light. Like he has a lot of money and things like that. And he's about to be going through financial like The same thing he manifested for you is what he's about to be going through. Hmm. Someone paid. It could be an institution that paid another king of cups to keep you trapped. So he was blocking the truth, blocking your work, trying to trying to interfere with your forward movement. You could have some type of gift or ability that bothered this person and this institution, and they pay him. This could be someone you work with. This could be someone you go to school with. Some I don't know what this is. This could be someone in your family. They pay this man to cause you some type of ending and he took the bait. He took the bait. You have a lot of hidden enemies around you. You could know. But you're being advised not to say anything. But balance is being brought into the situation. And again, we got to thank the universe for stepping in. You always have to humble yourself before the universe. There was someone in my comment section, I think, yesterday. Today is Friday. Yesterday was Thursday, the 11th. And they said something about F God or something. I don't know if that was supposed to get to me. That's, that's no, sir, no, ma'am. <laughs> my relationship with the Most High is already established and it's solid. So I don't have anything to worry about. There's really nothing you can say to me about that that's going to make me think otherwise about anything so i decided to be a little sarcastic in there and just told them they said f god i said well god is asexual you may have to try jesus since he incarnated you may have better luck with him sometimes you have to do things like that just to let people know they're not really doing anything to you sometimes these dark energies they feel more important than they really are they feel important to each other so they think they're important to the rest of the world right they care about what each what the other person think about them so they think you care what they think say i don't know you from adam and even if i did i don't care what you have to say you're like irrelevant in this honey oh lord <laughs> And the fact that they're actually taking time to write that under the video, they said, oh, my Lord, you really didn't have anything better to do. <clears throat> You're going to be, oh, I'm trying not to say it too much because, like, I know there are karmics watching and they'll watch just so they can cause some type of intervention, interfere. Maybe that's why, never mind. You know what, never mind. Collective, you're going to be celebrating. You're going to be celebrating. Things are going to go in your favor. I don't want to say too much, but it's like, because it's like if I go all out, everything is going to be out there in the open and it may cause some type of hindrance for you because I'm speaking this already into existence. So someone will know what type of action to take to do something. So I can't. Oh my gosh. But just just know that everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. Someone, I don't know who this is. Someone keeps going back and forth in their mind. Someone keeps going back and forth in their mind. <clears throat> I don't know if it's like they want to take some type of action, but they're going back and forth. It's like, I should do it. I shouldn't. I should do it. I shouldn't. And the whole time, they're going through a lot of remorse and heartache. Someone is going through some type of loss. I think this may be more so, in, I don't know if it's emotional loss. I don't think it's financial loss. I think it's emotional loss. Someone is going through some type of grief. Like they lost someone close to them. I don't know if they lost a family member or a friend or something. 
or maybe they were betrayed, something like that. <clears throat> so someone is going through some type of heartache or they may be kind of heartbroken about a message that they receive about you. It's, I don't know, like there are two people that are supposed to be together. The masculine may be aware of the feminine energy. The feminine energy maybe is aware, but they're not really, uh, I can't say that. Like this feminine energy may have a lot going on in their life. So they're not really like focused on a connection right now. Like it, I think it's going to have to be up to the masculine to take action. But they are afraid. This person is in their mind a lot. This is someone that goes back and forth in their mind. They may be afraid to approach you. I think this is part of why this Five of Cups is out here. Someone is afraid of approaching you. They don't know if you're going to reject them. And I don't know what it is that they're worried about. I don't know if they feel like insecure about something. They're going through some type of healing. There's some type of balance that needs to be brought into their life. So they may be taking care of something behind the scenes. Maybe going through healing. There's something like that going on. <clears throat> or they're just struggling with, take, yeah, they're struggling with taking some type of action. Someone is struggling with taking some type of action. I just heard someone say, I don't know if they're going to trust me. Everybody else has betrayed this person. So they may be hesitant to open up to me or something like that. Like someone is worried about you not trusting them or they may be wanting you to trust them again. Maybe they broke your trust before they were not loyal. Oh, that's what that is. Someone is worried. I think I'm going to make that the title of the video. Because, honey, this message here is a little bit on the draining side. Someone is worried that you're not going to trust them because they took some type of action to betray you in the past. So they're worried about you seeing them in a light that's really not the best of them. They may be wanting to reconnect with you to show you their better side. Like, hey, I know I effed up really bad, but will you give me a chance to do better to, to right my wrong? Because something has been exposed to them. They're seeing that someone betrayed you, someone lied on you, like someone threw 10 swords in your back. And they didn't do it alone. They partnered up with a group of people to throw 10 swords in your back. And the whole time they were doing that, they were smearing your character, telling this person that you were someone horrible. And they're finding out that you're not someone horrible, but they're realizing when they thought you were someone horrible, they took some type of unjust action against you to cause you an ending, to steal something from you. And now they may want to come back, but they feel like you see them as disloyal. <clears throat> now that makes sense because I was like what in the world is going on here what is going on that man is worried but he does want to take this leap of faith with you <clears throat> I'm telling you he's worried this man is worried but it's not a bad kind of worry where he's like evil or something or wicked or something. This is just someone being disappointed in themselves for going up against you without having the full one one, not knowing the full scope of the situation. You may have been in this person's energy at one point, and maybe you even made comments to alert them about things that were going on, but they didn't take heed to whatever warning you gave them. They may have partnered up with your advisories and betrayed you, came up, came up against you, something like that. Something about like either, either bullying or something like that. And now he's living in regret. I think that's what it is. So it's not that he, he may have lost something or someone, but that's what this is. He's in remorse. He's in remorse. Yeah, he's in remorse. And your ancestors may be on that <laughs> behind. I'm sorry to say it that way. <laughs> but your ancestors may be hunting someone or just touching someone to take some type of action. I don't know if they're hunting them, but they're revealing something to them. Like, hey, before you took that action, we showed you who this person was 
or they're not showing your true character to this person, whoever this man is, and he's seeing you for who you are, is that they're telling him that he effed up really bad. They're like, hey, I know this. all of these people told you that this woman was horrible, but she's not. This is someone in the upright. This is someone just. And he's seeing that now. And he may have a friend that he may have told to watch you and the friend lied to him as well. Maybe he doesn't know that. It's, it's, honey, this read really is going a whole different direction now. Someone's friend betrayed them. They betrayed the feminine energy. They betrayed him. He may be walking away from all of them. Someone may be leaving a toxic uh, union, community, coven, religion. Uh huh, religious, huh? <laughs> I was going to say leaving some type of toxic religious organization. Maybe he's leaving an organization and he may be interested in being with you. Why is this message, message so like draining? It's because of all this. Oh my lord. It's toxicity. People are being exposed. I'm telling you, justice. He's going to get over himself and his emotions and take action. Yeah, justice is in this situation. Balance is in this situation. Someone is going through healing. I'm telling you, he's, he's either going through healing or he's healed now. Like someone has gotten in touch with their inner child. They want something more committal. So they could have been in a relationship with a woman that was not of high honor. She was not of high honor. And she was trying to keep this man stuck with her. But he wants something traditional. Something that has commitment. So maybe the both of them were not really committed to each other. They may have been married, but as far as being with other parties, it may have been like an open relationship or something. Or it was just a toxic relationship with lots of fighting, lots of arguing, right? Lots of settling for what you for less than what you deserve, something like that. But he has removed himself. Yeah, he's removed himself from this situation. And he's moving on. He's healing. With the six of swords out here, followed by the eight of cups and the page of cups, he's healing. He's bringing balance back into his life. And there's something else too that I think he's going to do, but I think I'm just going to keep that hush hush. I don't want to keep saying too much because the karmics are watching. The karmics are watching. And sometimes, to be honest with you all, when I'm doing my reads, I put my cards in a specific order because I know the story already from looking at the cars all together. And because I don't want another high priestess seeing my cars and being able to go and tell people or her karmics that are coming to her, right, to for her to tell them what's going to happen. So sometimes I will purposely rearrange cars because I don't want them knowing and that's something I've had to pick up on to catch up on, start uh, implementing into my reads lately because I keep seeing people doing stupid stuff behind the scenes to block someone, like a masculine energy to confuse him. Yeah. this man is leaving is a hot mess <laughs> this woman is a hot mess and someone cannot defend themselves they cannot defend their actions someone may be being asked a lot of questions something is being looked into the justice system could be involved in here and they're looking into something and asking people questions or this woman questions and she doesn't have any answers to give someone is being seen for who they are she's not someone of high honor she's not someone loyal she fights a lot she likes to pick fights with people and her character is s-h-i-t-t-y 
yeah, this is someone that fights a lot. It said fights a lot. It says overly defensive or sensitive, insufficient defense, disadvantage, indecision, lacking confidence, vulnerability, run away, fight. Always fighting. <clears throat> Always. There could be some type of court case going on and maybe it's not going in the favor of the people that thought it was going to go in their favor. This is like the big bad wolf going up against like, let's say, uh, what's, what's that street name? Where all those wealthy businesses are on in, I think it's New York, Wall Street. Those business tycoons going after like some small business mom and pop sh uh, shop. And the business tycoons, they just figure that everything is going to go in their favor. And so they don't really care what they're saying, what they're doing in court. They figure since they are the moguls, right? They have the best lawyer in the world. They've paid millions of dollars to make sure that things go in their favor. Only to go to court and realize that the, the judge that they pay is not going to be there. Or uh, there's a new judge that does not do bribery. Or uh, things are just, like the universe has just stepped in and said, uh-uh, you know what? We're not doing this. And mom and pop ends up winning the case because the moguls didn't have enough evidence to prove their case. It's something like that going on. They're not able to, they don't have sufficient information, something like that. Uh, someone in here, they just, they just have poor character. Whoever this woman of high honor is that was pretending to be of high honor, it's not, no, honey. I'm telling you, this man is going somewhere else. Somewhere else. Someone likes to fight a lot, argue a lot. Yeah, likes to argue a lot. And they had a short-lived victory. And they thought they had destroyed you. I'm telling you, this person thought they had destroyed you. Is that if he sees that she has nothing, she's a burden, he's going to see her as a liability, and he's going to reject her. And the whole time, this person didn't know this man was aware of the things that she was doing. She and her minions didn't know that this man was aware of everything they were doing. This is that someone having foresight of you, knowing everything that you're doing and still staying quiet. Someone has learned how to move in silence. Someone has learned. This man has learned how to move in silence. Because he's realizing this woman is very toxic. She may have a lot of family members all over the place. Right? And they're toxic just like her. They're trying to keep this man bond, but they can't. I don't care what situation I'm in. I know I'm a child of the Most High. So I don't ever feel boundish bounded no because i know the most high is going to figure something i'm telling you i'm a child of the most high so i always trust the most high to come through for me that does not mean that i'm not human and i don't have my hiccups but 90 percent of the time i bet you when something's happening i'm talking to god in my head i'm moving in favor living in favor Okay, I'm telling you, look at that. Look at that. Abundance. The Most High has its hands in everything. And someone is not happy that you're going to be receiving that abundance. I think someone, I don't know if someone was trying to force things to go in their favor. Like a negative energy, a toxic person was trying to force something to go in their favor. And then something I just heard about this masculine. This is someone who's a slow moving energy. God dang it. Someone is very slow moving. They stay in their head a lot. I see a lot of sores out here. It's a lot of mental work going on. He's in his head a lot and a lot of manipulation is going on. There are people all over, all around him, manipulating him. And then he has the audacity to be in his head a lot. That someone's mental, it's not that he is, it's not that he's shaky, shaky. It's just that he second guesses himself a lot. That's what I'm being told. 
Someone second guesses themselves a lot. And if you met this man, I'm seeing someone like muscular, well built and stuff like that. Um, if you see this man, this is not someone you would think will be in his head a lot. Like you would think that this person is assertive, they have it all figured out. But someone is like a teddy bear at heart. Other people may see this person as a brute, but if you're, yeah, I was gonna say if you're a star C, if you're a star C, you'll see this person's true energy. They're not a brute. They're in their head a lot because they're afraid of being betrayed. They've been betrayed a lot because of the people they've been around for a long time. So someone has a fear of being betrayed. I mean, if you've been betrayed a hundred times and someone comes and tells you, oh, I'm authentic. Oh, I'm a star C. Oh, you can trust me. You're probably looking at them and yeah, 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 sure. I've heard that a hundred other times before. Nothing new. But they're, they're going to find out you're someone of high character. You may be a little bit feisty. You may be a little bit feisty. But you're someone virtuous. They're going to find, I'm telling you. And whatever action they're taking, they know, they may be coming around to know that it's going to be victorious. You're someone of justice, balance, ethics, right? You stand, I'm telling you, you're a high, you're an empress. You are an, are an empress and he knows that now. It, listen, and you're coming out as, yeah, someone knows the truth. And the queen of cups. Let's see. Someone knows the truth about you now. Yeah, someone was caused. Did you see the seven? Mm -hmm. This is how it just came out. Someone was causing illusions or a group of people were causing illusions about a queen of cups. They may have presented him with a fake queen of cups from their camp. So this woman may have been pretending to be the actual queen of cups, but it's been revealed she's not. And that could be something that's bothering this man as well. I'm telling you, you keep coming out as the star. And there's some type of like revelation for them. Some type of sudden revelation for him. He's a oh my gosh. I've been bamboozled. I'm telling you. He has foresight down. This person has foresight. And it may be, yeah. And I keep seeing a lot of action cards out here. So something's gonna happen. <clears throat> but whoever your enemies are, they're not gonna be having any, yeah, they're not having any victory over you. It's the, the situation is dead. It's dead. That the universe deaded this situation before it even started. But people don't know that. You know, sometimes, People that are limited with their vision, they rely on their physical, what they're seeing in the physical, that's as far as they can go. They're limited to that. You may be gifted and you can see the spirit realm, you can see the future, the past, and you already know how something is gonna play out. But because your enemies, they may be in numbers, they may be more abundant than you, abundant, more abundant than you. <laughs> you know these people never really garner their wealth the right way, so. It can be gone any time of the day. Um, because of those physical aspects that they have, the numbers, the money, they will think that they are triumphant over you, right? Not realizing that they're limited. You have foresight. You have foresight of the whole situation. You already know how it's going to play out. And they'll see you in some type of situation and they're like, well, why? Why are they not crying? Why are they not sad and depressed? Why are they not this? It's that that's because we know the universe has us covered. The most high has to cover. Everything happens in divine timing. I'm telling you, everything happens in divine timing. And sometimes things will be going on and the universe will tell you do nothing and you're like do nothing are you you what do nothing what do you mean do nothing and then you have to trust them <laughs> because they know whatever action you take is just gonna make things worse 
So when they tell you do nothing, this is what they mean, that we have better for you. So whatever the enemy thinks they're taking away from you, let them take it. We have better for you. Okay? We have better. I'm telling you. You may not know that someone is sick behind the scenes. Someone is sick behind the scenes. Uh, this read here, it said there's so much I could say, but I can't because it will be revealing too much. And it's really hard to do a read with limitations not be able to say exactly what the heck it is I'm saying, I'm seeing, but honey, this is This Queen of Pentacles has been showing up in a lot of my reads. I'm telling you, a lot of my reads. And this woman is burdened about something that's going on. This could be someone's wife, ex-wife, whatever they say, someone's mother. This woman is burdened. She's, <laughs> it is someone that is, oh man. This woman is a piece of work. I think I covered her. I've covered this woman in quite a few videos. She keeps popping up. This is someone very vain. Very vain. Someone has a wish to see you stuck, locked up. Like, if she could see that happen, if she had a day in her life where you were locked up, blocked, not able to move forward, not able to stand up for yourself, you being like a little puppy dog, and you just roll over, this woman will be in paradise. But she's realizing that's not what's going on. You're not going to be rolling over. I'm telling you, you're not rolling over. I just saw the Ten of Wands out here. You are not rolling over. Uh, it's in here somewhere. As soon as I said rolling over, I saw the Ten of Wands. Meaning the universe is telling you not to, yeah, not to roll over for anyone. Like, if you say you're someone of high moral character, stick to your morals. If you say you're a warrior, be a warrior. Stand in your truth. Doesn't matter who the heck uh, uh, approves of it, who has a problem with it, who doesn't have a problem with it. Stand your ground. Someone is about to be fleeing a community. Some I don't know why that's coming out. Someone is about to be fleeing a community. Someone went to a community to cause a lot of manipulation a lot of problems someone may have moved into a community that a star sea lives in to cause them problems and something is about to be exposed something is about to be exposed and this person is going to be trying to escape from this community this is what i'm seeing someone is about to try to escape they run away get away from a community so people don't think that they had anything to do with what's going on it's not so my brother you are still going to be exposed. It doesn't matter how far away you get. You will move to another state if you want to. It's going to be exposed. You might as well just stay where you are until everything is exposed because when it's all exposed, those people, the, the, the law enforcement, are not going to be happy about having, about having to come get you from another state. If they have to look for you more than they need to, you're going to be having problems. Bad, bad problems. This is that someone doing something for a long time, and then when everything is coming out, they decide they're going to escape, they're going to go run, they're going to sneak away. Say, oh, <clears throat> oh, it's not going to do you nothing. Yeah, there's someone wants to keep someone trapped. She wants to bring legal issues to you. I don't know why this just came to my mind. 
This is like someone being married to a masculine and he's leaving and she wants to bring you legal issues because she says you're interfering with their business or something. You know, marriage is a business. She wants to be like, oh, you know, she caused problems in our marriage. You've never done anything to this man with this man. That is crazy. I don't know why they just came to my, my head. But someone wants to make it seem like you interfere with a business contract, i.e. their marriage. That is low down. And you don't even talk to this person, whoever this masculine is. You don't talk to them. Never had any type of personal or intimate relationship with this person. So you'll have a hard time proving that in court. But this woman is trying to bring you issues. This will also be someone's mother. She don't want you with her son. I'm telling you. And you're moving. <laughs> you're paying her no mind. You're out here stroking a whole lion. And she could be upset because you're able to balance this man out. This lion, she was never able to balance him out. She was trying to control this man. You're not supposed to try to control people. You're supposed to bring the best out within them. But when you're not even able to do that for yourself, it's impossible to do that for someone else. So you're trying to control them. So there's a bit of jealousy in her. Not a bit, a whole lot. Someone is obsessed with another feminine energy. She's obsessed. She is obsessed. And then what's so different about her? What's so special about her? You're going to that, da, 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 da. You're not going to be happy when you go yourself, sacrificing yourself. You're abandoning your family. You're not seeing clearly. Meanwhile, the universe is telling them you see clearly. You know what you're seeing. I'm telling you, this person knows the truth. He wants to heal. Even if this is not like a romantic relationship, someone wants to heal and they feel like you're the one that can do that. And it's causing problems. <laughs> This is so redundant. So redundant. You know, sometimes I sit here and I want to do like a 10 minute read, but it always turns into these long reads. Long reads. Yeah, whatever plans that she had, they had, is not coming into fruition. She's going to have to sit down. She's going to have to sit down. Everything is being deaded. I'm telling you, this group here, look at this mess. Look at this mess. Everyone. The whole clan. The whole coven. There's some type of investigation going on. I've been told that, to say that. There's an investigation that's going on. Yeah. Yeah. There is an investigation going on. And someone, I'm telling you, oh yeah. <laughs> There's an investigation going on. Mm. There's an investigation going on. You're going to new life, rebirth, new life, new beginnings, hope, healing, cleansing. Queen of Cups, Empress, Starcy is the end of tragedy for you being caused by other people. You won't believe the card that came out of the Empress. The Empress. Someone's trying to trap an Empress. It's not happening. It's not happening. This is why I don't like to do this read so long. But yeah, it's not happening. The Empress has the power. I'm telling you. Oops. Oop, didn't I say there was an investigation going on? I knew that car was going to come out. I knew that car was going to come out. 
there are, I knew that car was gonna come out. Someone is still seeing it's like no matter what these people did, someone is still seeing you as a queen of cups, uh, and you've been revealed to them as a uh, uh an empress. Someone had to go within. Someone may have went and sought like advice about the truth, and now they know. So someone may be wanting to partner up with you. awareness of what is happening around you <laughs> i'm telling you source has a wicked sense of humor so as you have a keen sense of humor sir whoever you are you're being told that you have a keen sense of, of awareness of what's going on around you collective this is what you're being told <laughs> you have keen sense you have keen awareness of what is happening around you a strong intuition is your gift and will help you understand the unspoken feelings and thoughts of others this insight allows you to be a great guide and supporter i am intuitive <clears throat> source is hilarious 19 completion so with the tool being here which usually has to do with matrimonies Harmony, celebration, coming together, manifesting something together, right? Two, right? And then we have 10. When you and someone come together, something will be complete. A cycle, a cycle will be complete. And so the new cycle can begin. So whatever is supposed to happen is not going to happen until I think the masculine takes action to do something so you the feminine energy i think you've already done your part you may have been a guide to this person and you've already told them how to get out of a toxic situation right now it's going to be them playing their part to do something bring balance into something is what i mean to i'm being told not to say anything more than that but that he's supposed to bring balance into a situation once he does that, then you two can end a toxic chapter, a karmic cycle, so that a new and healthy one can begin, okay? And yeah, that's why we have 19 here, which sums down to 10. Completion, something is absolutely done, okay? Independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you. You are extremely capable in life and in work and aren't afraid to take big risks to achieve the life you desire. I am a pioneer. I'm telling you. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Stay blessed. See you in my next video. Goodbye for now.